Hello everyone and welcome back to Plane. So today let's see what I have managed to achieve and it's very important. Every moment is an opportunity to learn, to observe. I left you in suspense because we have a streak today. A streak of one. You can see it down at the bottom of the screen there and today we will chat to Wolf. Huh. Let's just talk to Fox. I thought Fox's the Fox's name was Wolf. Okay, let us see what chapter two has to offer. I the Wanderer. Of course. Are you ready? Yes. I sense you have a question, my friend. How did everything stop growing? It happened hundreds of years ago, and it happened because of a foolish emperor. Huh. What did he do? You see, there was an emperor who was so afraid of death that he was willing to sacrifice anything to find a way of escaping death, to be immortal. Interesting. Carry on. The emperor searched and tried various things, but he could not find immortality. Tried? Like what? Like swallowing seven magical stones. <laughs> One for each day of the week. How can that not work? Well, needless to say, the stones were not magical. Did he give up? Yes, that's a short story. Patience, Wanderer. As he was getting old, he started to become more aware that his time had nearly come to an end. So he went on a three-day journey deep into a forest not far from here to spend time alone to contemplate his death. <laughs> you really like using horses when you speak. <laughs> I, I like that one. I'm going to try that one. Yes, I do. Fair enough. Why was the emperor so scared of death? That is the thing about death. It is not scary until it becomes yours. What scared him about death was that everything would be taken away from him. But he didn't mind giving up his possessions. He didn't mind giving up his kingdom. But he struggled with the thought of giving up his memories. Because he knew that his memories, his experiences, they made him who he was. Without them, he was nothing. Even not that. Not even that, maybe? We are just a collection of memories. When I told this story to the last person that wandered here, he just looked back at me with glassy eyes. Soon I realized that he was asleep with his eyes open. An impressive skill. For sure. Did he teach you how to sleep with your eyes open? Yes, but I will not teach you. Why? We have tons of boring lore to get through. <laughs> what happened to the Emperor? Well, he spent days thinking and trying not to think, but none of it helped. He knew he could not escape it. Depressed, he decided to head back to his kingdom. However, after a day of traveling back, he realized that he was lost. He spent the next week walking, trying to find his way home, trying to survive. The more he tried to run away from death, the closer he approached it. That's a terrifying prospect. The more you try to avoid something, the closer you get to it. Huh. He got what he was running away from. Indeed. That reminds me of Teal from Stargate. Stargate SG-1, I should say. On the 20th day, without food and living only on rainwater, he laid down on the ground, exhausted. He looked up at the trees, swaying in the wind. He thought of all the things he would have to leave. Then suddenly, in the sound of the wind, he felt silence. He died? Yes. Wait. He died? Can you make him not die? That's depressing. Alright, he did not die. He was jolted awake. <laughs> His eyes took a moment to focus. He realized that he was looking up at someone. Who was it? The foolish fool who lived alone in the forest had found him. The same foolish fool you mentioned previously? The very same one. Think of the most foolish thing in existence, that would be him, the foolish fool. So the emperor didn't die. Once the foolish fool brought the emperor back to life, he realized something. 
This was not just any fool, this was the foolish fool. The one who was fabled to have power so great that he had hidden himself away from people. What was the old saying? The worst things that can happen to you is either to not get what you wished for or to get what you wished for. Wait, so the emperor got what he wanted? Immortality? The emperor explained why he had come to the forest, to contemplate his own impermanence and his eternal wish to not die. He asked the foolish fool if he could grant his wish, and that fool, being a fool, could not do anything less but agree. But there was a sacrifice to be made. What was the sacrifice? He could not give immortality to just one man. He would have to grant it to every one and everything. Well, that was generous of him. Remember, he was a fool. How did he do it? Legend has it, he took an egg and cracked it on the emperor's forehead. He then did a little jig around him while calling the emperor's mother foul names. It was a test to see if the emperor's wish was more important than his own mother. And it was. Did it work? At that very moment, the emperor became immortal. But that was not everything. Tell me, the foolish fool did even more. He made immortality worthless. Sounds like a deal that you make with the devil. How can you make immortality worthless? By giving it to everyone and everything. Everyone and everything? Everyone realized later that day that the sun would not set. Everything became immortal. Don't you remember that day? It's vague. It happened such a long time ago. The foolish fool put a driftwood right into the cogwheels of time for everyone. But the emperor became immortal. The emperor became immortal? <laughs> Oh yes, he did. He stopped growing. He was like a film, edged forever, no longer degrading, no longer a VHS. <laughs> but VHS had a certain quality. That's enough stories. Come back to me when plane has evolved more. Thanks, Wolf, for your stories. Thank you, Wolf. On that note, Perhaps we could bump straight on to the meditations. Was there anything else for us to check? No, I think that's mainly it. Although I did just get an achievement for finishing chapter two. Uh, let's just have a quick look here. You've discovered the second chapter of Plane. There we go. Looks like there are exactly four chapters and I've unlocked all of them, probably from my 30 days of, uh, of meditation that I did recently. Uh, or last couple of years back when I was doing the beta stuff. So that's quite good. I can do chapter three next time and chapter four time after that. So next, let's look at the meditation again. Now we talked about the different options that we have here. And we thought about doing one of the other ones. Maybe breathing for calm, deep relaxation. These are only five minutes. And abdominal breathing as well. Although that one doesn't have a recommended time. Huh. Let us... Uh, not a... Um, uh, Call me scared of change, but I'm just not sure about trying one of these other ones. Um, repetition meditation. Abdominal breathing. Deep relaxation. The benefits of this type of yogic breathing are very similar to box breathing, but it includes a longer breath retention, so the effects are more calming and relaxing. Ah, okay. I think I'll just stick with the plane meditation this time around. Again. And uh, let's pick a different scene, though. Let's go for... Okay, that's a bit further away. That's kind of like how it was originally. I think the sound of that water is a bit too loud for me just now. But I could go for that one. For the weather, let's... We already did rain once. Let's do lightning. And time, sunrise, no, we'll go for 
the time that we are in right now in plane. Yeah, that sounds quite nice. Can I go? Oh, I can go 11 minutes. Um, let's just do 10 minutes again. And all right, let's go.
A fool sees themselves as another, but a wise person sees others as themselves. Hmm. The ability to observe without evaluating is the highest form of intelligence. Okay, 74 meditations and a streak of two. Well, that's good. So I'm remembering from the last time when I was doing the series the, that each time that I maintain the streak and even when I don't in this time round I find that each time I do it I'm able to go just a little bit deeper and it is I, I, I still find it astounding the benefits that I reap on a on a day-to-day -day basis from doing the meditations and that's part of the reason why I leave the meditation it in the video it's an opportunity that i hope was useful for you to meditate along with me that way maybe you don't feel like you're doing it alone and i'm doing it only for 10 minutes and i find that 10 minutes is about as long as i can go just now and last time round with a bit of practice i was able to keep the meditation going for a bit longer. I think I ended up with 20 minutes or so in the end. Um, I'm not sure that the series will go long enough for me to be able to build it up to quite that level, but I hope that you take the opportunity to meditate with me now and again, even if it is, you know, once a week or whenever you can. Uh, hopefully you can stay, keep, you know, keep going with me which is unfortunately not going to be as frequent as I'd like. And I'm not sure how many episodes I'll be able to do, but I'll do what I can. And I do see the benefits and I hope you do too. And if you are thinking about buying this game, I, I suggest you do it. It's not that expensive and it does help build a habit or at least just keep tabs on your, on your meditations and you know help you feel good and it, I enjoy the fact that there is something else happening with my meditations. So I think that's a good thing. Well, 
that's all I have for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.